Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. We're going to talk about more aggressive growth stock picks now with Bill Wilton, our aggressive growth stock strategist at Zach's.com. And uh, you've got a couple of companies here that I've never heard of, <laughs> but that doesn't mean anything. Spread Trum Communications, mm -hmm. SPRD, the ticker symbol, is the first one. Um, what end of communications are they in? Uh, what they do is they provide services uh, and some products that go into wireless devices. Okay. Uh, they essentially customize, uh, you know, any of these uh, components to meet the uh, manufacturer's specifications. Uh, wireless is really hot right now. Um, they've recently reported uh, their quarterly results. They saw revenue climb to 52 million which was well above the high end of their original forecast. They were expecting at most to bring in about 43 million. So, you know, they, they blew their own estimates out of the water. They saw net income um, approach 7 million, uh, which is fantastic because uh, one year ago they reported a loss of about 8.3 million. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was quite a turnaround. Uh, it's always good to see them back in the black. Um, and, you know, the net income broke down to about 13 cents a share relative to the four cents that analysts were expecting. Um, so obviously the earnings surprise is another good indicator. Uh, following that, the estimates began to start climbing. Uh, and what that does for us is it ends up producing another good value, um, which is something else that you're gonna wanna see in these companies. Uh, so right now they're trading at less time, or pardon me, less than 10 times that forward earnings es estimate. Uh, the peg ratio is coming in under 0.5, meaning that we're getting that growth rate uh, at a pretty good value as well. Um, so, you know, you don't want to be pay overpaying for those uh, aggressive growth stocks. Right. Um, they really haven't had any direction since that uh, earnings report, um, which is, you know, uh, kind of good for us. Uh, but for those people who are a little bit more risk averse, they may want to make f may want to wait for this MACD to cross over uh, to a buy signal before getting in. Um, but this level, um, you know, should hold up for some time now. All right. And you also recently wrote about mm -hmm. a company called Culp. Inc. CFI, the ticker symbol, makes fabrics for a variety of uses. Yeah, what they do is uh, anything from retail, um, bedding and upholstery to uh, commercial and um, industrial fabrics. So, you know, office furniture, things like that. Uh, they actually saw a 20% increase in sales, up to $57 million, uh, in the most recent quarter, which doubled their net income on a year-over-year -year basis. Uh, their earnings came in at $0.38 cents a share beating the Zach's consensus by about a nickel. Uh, so things are looking, uh, looking up for them. Also trading at a pretty good value thanks to some upward estimate revisions. Uh, they're trading at 11 times the forward estimates uh, and mainly because they do have solid projected growth. As you can see, they're expected to earn uh, $1.11 this year relative to the 98 cents they earned last year. So a little bit over 10% growth. Um, not too bad for you know an industry that a lot of people have been shying away from for the past probably two years or so now, but we're seeing a lot of businesses start having to reinvest in things that they had put off for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, furniture is one of those things that you usually wait uh, as long as you can on. Um, right now, we're seeing the consensus estimates at the highest level in at least five years, probably a lot longer, uh, yet the shares still haven't come up uh, to those uh, peak levels that they saw a few years ago. So I'm seeing a lot of upside potential. Um, you know, usually you're going to see those shares climb proportionate to the earnings estimates. Mm -hmm. So right now we're, tra we're trading at uh, less than their historical PE, which is, uh, you know, obviously good for the long run in this stock. Okay. Do you own either of these two? I do not. Check out more Zach's Rank Buy stock pick ideas for yourself at our homepage, zax.com. Upper right-hand corner, we put four new stock pick ideas up there for you daily, one in each of the investing categories that we write about. On Zacks.com, Bill's category, aggressive growth, is included. With Bill Wilton, I'm Terry Ruffalo.